Good evening. I'm Robo, your host for the time being. Thank you for tuning in. There was something I was looking at. Yes, I marked him. Yeah. He is this way. Where are you at, Dingus? Would you look at that? <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you what. I don't want to be uh, dying of, of heat stroke mid-battle. So we'll wait here for just a second. Actually, I might not, though, because it's, it's already almost 8. Temperature doesn't seem like it's going up. Yeah, I think we can go for it. You want to start off this way? <laughs> I'll just remind you. Last time we uh, we delved into Gerudo Canyon. Not Gerudo. Yeah, Gerudo Canyon. And uh, that's all there was to it. Got a couple of shrines. Saw some sights. I plan to delve even further south. I want to get into the desert today. Maybe, just maybe, even see what this, uh, what these strange phenomena are all, all about. Phenomenon? Phenomena? Hmm. First, let's kill Lionel. Listen, that music! Oh, you are a hulking thing. I'm trying to figure out what's different. Oh, the horns! Look at those horns! Oof. Uh, you know, we might actually get cold. Just in case. Oh, I have my cold pants on. Speaking of... Listen, that, there wasn't, I don't think there was specific Lionel music last time. That just kicked her right in the gear. He is just a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? Alright, uh, let's use this guy. That's new. I don't, why is everyone headbutton nowadays? Are you going to do the fire thing? You're going to do the fire thing. I guess I could shoot him in the face. The grass can't catch on fire. Ugh. Just for it. I forgot they can actually like do new stuff, which is which is kind of terrifying. Woo! We're all good. Jumping right into it. Hey, nice to see you, folks. Sorry, I'm gonna move my mic. Just I keep leaning away from it. Let's do it. Come on, bud. <laughs> that, that one's fun. I need. I gotta parry these. I didn't parry that much in the first game. I realize that more and more. I really just hit my flurry rushes. Are you gonna do the roar? Nope. I was gonna do the roar. Well, shoot, I guess we're breaking my uh, my rare talus weapon today. Fair enough, fair enough. It's worth it. Lionel weapons are usually... They're not always the greatest, at least with the Lionel of this level. But they'll they'll certainly be nice. I just want a mighty bow. Or a, a line, Lionel bow. I think it's a, it's a mighty Lionel bow if you get a better Lionel. Maybe they changed it, though. Because I remember this being one of the... A blue Lionel being one of like the base level ones. I, uh, I'm used to fighting the, with the silver and, and the gold ones from the DLC. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm keeping you on your toes. Come on now. <sighs> Dang. I think it might break before we... Uh, maybe. Kind of hope it doesn't... Uh, okay, broke on the... Cool. I wish I could bow. That's what I do in a Bloodborne when I fight something terrifying and way taller than me. A lot of things are taller than me, but... Oh! <laughs> I didn't think about that. Sick. Very nice, very nice. Mace horn. Lots of arrows. I remember me some Lionel Guts. They made them look different. Is that just soldiers? Ah, that's such a mid-sword for a Lionel. Whatever. Mighty Lionel bow! Hey, I was onto something. Cool. Cool. Yeah, they changed it. It's, uh... The render's at a different angle. It's throwing me off. Alrighty. Do we want to toss something on a weapon? Sure, why not? Let's... Uh, let me remember how controls work here. Oh, I could also put that on something. It's just... I mentioned it um, in the VOD last time, but... I'm weird with these sorts of systems where it's like consumables. Like, they put this in the game to to put it on something, to use it. But I look at it, I'm like, well, then I won't have one anymore. It's like, well, no, that's why it's in the game, though. You know? That being said, let's put this on a sword before I regret it. Oh, I did not want to whistle. It's this. There we go. Now that is a cool-looking sword. Also does 45 damage. Heavens. Okay. Okay. Let's turn around. Ooh, you know what? Let's hit up that labyrinth. I think that could be fun. 
I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Look, I will roam in the labyrinth for a little while. Not terribly long. I'll get an idea, and if I get stuck, I'll get out. I'll do it on my own time. Because I'm telling you, you've seen me in trines if you've watched any of these VODs. You've seen me in trines. It's not pretty. <laughs> I think I'm going to be a little... Oh, hello. I think I'm going to be a little looser with what I let myself do off camera. Because I don't want to come back. What I don't want to do is come back and be like, Alright guys, get some off camera mining. I'm done with every shrine. Beat the game. However, these little puzzle things. Most people are like, No, Robo, please. I need to see you in the Siddharkath shrine. Please. Then, you know, do it myself. I'll still find things and stuff on stream, though, but if it's like, I want to be able to say, okay, let me save that for later in my own time, just so I'm not just wandering, you know, because believe it or not, pacing is something I care about. It's like that. I'm not going to bother, because, you know, we were headed towards the shrine, so we're going to go to the shrine. Or not the shrine, the labyrinth, sorry. At the same time, though, um, you know, I'm not just going to, like, give up on things midway. We know how distracted I can get. <laughs> Speaking of, hey, buddy. Come on, buddy. See ya. Oh, I still get it. Worth. This is kind of insane. Research log, day one. Now that Taru's gone off to examine the other ruins, I have no choice but to tough out the rest of the research alone. I'll leave a trail of acorns and nuts behind me so I don't get lost. Fair enough. Mm, make such a nice uh, seasoned sautéed nut blend after this. Oh, nice. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Research log day four. I can't believe I'm writing this, but I'm standing in front of ancient Zonai ruins. What a tremendous discovery. This makes the terror and uncertainty of getting here completely worth it. It's just a shame for me that I have no idea what these ruins are, but I'll head back and report to people who might. Well, if the acorns are still there, I bet you didn't get to go back. That's cool, though. It's like, oh, this was a Zonai structure the whole time. That's sick. I very much like that. Oh, maybe they did get back. Okay, cool. Motsu Shrine. A camp, maybe? Oh, I wonder if there'll be, like, settlements in the desert besides Grudo. That'd be kind of wild. For you who have conquered this labyrinth of the land, I, the ruler of Boars, have unlocked a door. Find it on the north side of the labyrinth of the sky. That's sick. <laughs> That's so cool. North side of the labyrinth of the sky. Sounds good, sounds good. I don't say this in a bad way, but it is funny, because it's like... <laughs> the writers could be like, Yeah, there was a labyrinth? Well, it was actually Zonai the whole time, and there was an identical one in the sky the whole time. <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> it's super cool, though. Don't get me wrong. Now, can I? Is there any possibility that I can get directly under, under this, like, floating bit of rock here and have enough to... Oh, and I'm going to start ooh, having heat stroke. Yeah, no shot. Absolutely no way. <laughs> Dang. Okay, well... Yeah, we're really stuck. I could just jump down and find another weird-looking rock to, to float up on. You know what I could have done? Once I was up there, I probably could have constructed a little... Like a doodad or something, you know? Like maybe a gadget. Even a gizmo, if I'm... I'm being bold. Hmm. I really don't have any... Resistant... Hmm. I guess I just need to get to the nearest settlement. Buy me some nice, uh... resistance -y boys you know? Yeah, because all my stuff's cold and resistance. Yeah. I was just gonna... Yeah, because either way, if I got to the labyrinth, I would not be surviving at this rate, so... It looks like the valley would have led us... Or the path, rather, would have led us way further north. I think that oasis is probably our goal. <gasps> I forgot. Oh, heavens above. Oh, heavens above! I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. This isn't good. Slide! Oh, heavens! <laughs> oh, you are a magnificent creature. They look about the same. Fine by me. I think they're perfect. 
I don't know if they're actually my favorite boss. As as we've seen, I, I quite enjoy the Lionels. They're just they're so fun and goofy. This is kind of terrifying though. The issue is I'm on a timer because I'm actively dying. Uh, I'll eat one more thing and then let's just gun it. Oh come on! I can't hear you. And if it can hear you, it's not fast enough to catch me. I'm too fast. I guess. I guess. Uh, on a greater note, I I just wonder how the deserts changed. Cause there's so much so much you can do to a desert. <laughs> Neat. Yeah. What are you? Is that a camp? <gasps> Let's check this out. Let's check this out. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. Ooh. Ooh. Any any of those strikes will kill me. Thank goodness. There we go. All done. I'm wondering how to do a Molduga. I just thought of that. Because we don't have bombs anymore. How I thought... Well, I guess it wasn't the only way. But, like, the gimmick way for Molduga to using your Sheikah Slate was you toss a bomb on the ground... It hears the bomb, it goes, it swoops, it, it chops the bomb, because it feels like the vibration goes towards it, that whole thing. And then, the bomb's in it, so when it jumps, or, or any time, you explode it. So then, the bomb explodes in his, in his gut. And then you go beat him up. But now there's no bombs. No remote bombs. So I'm quite curious how this will go down. Okay. Now, how do we go about you? You gonna jump? I guess we'd just get things started like this. So that didn't do a darn thing. Oh, I didn't think you would do that. At least I didn't waste my bomb now. Bah! <laughs> Did it sense that? It's going for the choo choo jelly, right? It's <laughs> I mean, it hit it. I thought it might swallow the choo choo jelly. I don't know. I'm experimenting. I start running in circles here. Climb up this. Right? Okay. Didn't jump. It's circling. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. That is horrific. You are a big terrifying beast. Oh god. You're so fun though. I like fighting big things. Make me feel good. Come on. Come on. Way too late, way too late. Mm, okay. <gasps> There's the shot. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Now it wasn't too bad. You know what? Uh, let's use a bomb arrow, just for fun. That music's so fun. I think that means I, I, I made him stumble as well. Yeah, that's what the music means. So bombs are still the strat, just different bombs. I don't want to go around, because then I'm going to have to run around. I know this is a waste of hits right now, but... Take that, <laughs> loser. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, you just got to hit him with bomb things. All right. That's a shame, because I'm not always going to have bomb arrows... Or not bomb arrows. Bombs on arrows on me, but... Oh, well. Oh, and he doesn't want to come up. Ah, I got to do this again. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. God. Ah, just a second too late. It's so hard to judge, too. Because sometimes it, like, veers around. That time it gunned it. You know what? I think arrows are actually the way to go here. It's a waste of this mighty bow, but... Let's just see if we can't get this in... Oh, no. All right, let's get another bomb in real quick. Oh, look at all that damage. Okay. Okay. I can deal with that. I just gotta do this once more. Just once. Just once more. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as the head's above ground, I can do that. I love the music so much. Oh, dang it, except it's showing the front side of me. Uh, if I can get around fast enough, eh, let me just keep shooting. I'll do it like this. Because I really need you not to... No, I need you not to do that. No. No. Please, please, please. Please get the shot off. Please get the shot off. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Nice. Oh, watch for falling boulders. I love shield surfing. Whee. 
may or may not be part of the reason I came here first. I cannot confirm nor deny that. Oh, it was a big old rock. Oh, is it going to do that? Yeah. Oof. All right. Fair enough. Ooh, I really can't see. I'll follow the light of my comet here. The comet landed not terribly far from the mountain range. And the power. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Get away from me. I don't want to. Are those guys from a different game? I'm pretty sure I've seen these. Why are you doing <laughs> you have so much help. I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel like I'm doing damage. Your health went down. I hate every. <laughs> um. Uh. This. Okay. That's awesome. I don't know exactly why that worked, but it worked. Uh, does it work with fire too? It does. Okay, so they got like a hard shell on them. You are just a terrifying thing, and I hate everything. A gibdo? It's a crazy attachment, though. Dang. Those guys, I feel like, I don't think it's them in particular. But it's either Majora's Mask or, um... The Skull Dudes. I can't... Oh, I have some... I have a picture in my head. They're just a skeleton with a, a mask that looks sort of like that. They don't have the weird mouths, though. These things are... Like, organic. I assume I can hit you right now. Good. So I was hitting before, it's just they had a bunch of armor. That really, that does a lot. It said 40? Man. I think they're all bones. What are you? Oh, I thought it was like a weird looking skeleton for a second. That would be horrific. It looked like a, for a second, it looked like a, like, there's the head there, and there's like a the neck, and it's got an arm at a weird angle, and it's sticking out of the sand. And it's like one of these things, but giant, and it's a skeleton. I would have cried. I would have cried. On stream. All right, well, let's get rid of these guys. Oh, you know what? I feel like Fire Rod is slightly less universally uh, good, so I'm gonna use it up first. Though I think Ruby is more valuable than Topaz, to be fair. Also, they have, like, just weapons in them. I didn't even realize. I guess that's a good tell of, like, hey, those don't work very well. I'm just gonna melt the, the skin off them real quick. Those bones are crazy, though. I bet they fetch a pretty good price as well. Okay, so if the rift went this way, we need to keep going this way. Towards that light. I wonder if that's just the sun or something. Or something else. Oh, this is like a proper thing. Oh, they were using Herbosa's Fury, it looked like. They were trying to get struck by lightning. Is it the... I wonder if it's the princess from the first game? Probably, right? Man. Missed again. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. <laughs> it's you. This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, Riju, I remember you. Not the princess, the chief. My bad, my bad. But then, I like the new music. Show up in unusual times. I do tend to do that, to be fair. Did I accidentally go to the checkpoint? I think I accidentally went to the mark. Fair enough. Uh oh. What the heck? What was that? Hmm. Didn't sound like any noise the sand shroud has made, that's for sure. You heard it too, right? It was... <gasps> Chief! We've received word that it's from the Gibbetos' character bizarre. Blue areas are the way there. <laughs> She's already... Okay, understood, thank you. <laughs> Link, we need to head to Karakara Bazaar at once. I was about to head that direction! Oh my goodness! You're so freaky looking. Don't let the Kibdos get close. Oh no, I gave him, I gave her a deep voice. My bad. Shoot, this might be thumbnail. Never mind. Rick, if help doesn't arrive soon. Nice. Ow! 
I should just about do it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ah, dang it, I didn't pick everything up. The swarm of the Gibdos seems to be coming from there. Oh, oh, I hated that. Oh, I don't like that. That is terrible. Thank you. Whew. Now I think that's it. Good stuff. Would have been nice to pick up all those rib bones. Cause those things are strong. But that's alright. Well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Yeah, it's kind of your whole thing. <gasps> what the heck? Is that Zelda? <laughs> that's just what I was going to say. Whoa. Uh. Go get her, Link. What are you doing? Whoa! That's so cool. <laughs> Is it? Okay, it just held on that shot for a while. Real bad. Gerudo Town is in danger. Big time. Zelda, wait! Yeah, where are you going? Home slice? I guess we didn't directly toward oh, those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm. I have a feeling that's not her. Liara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Link, we're going on ahead. I'll meet you in town. You're gonna go in town, not after her. Fair enough. Let's get nice. I like it. And like I said, I think I said it uh when I first started heading this way. It is definitely not like a, a rush to each objective thing. It's just like, I want to go to Gerudo. Also in Gerudo is one of the main uh, missions. You know, two birds, one stone. What up? Got a lot of sand here. Anyhow. Now let's do some shopping. Oh, they were worried about their sister in the shroud. That's a shame. Hey, we don't even have a hairpiece yet. <laughs> Neat. I didn't even have to go. I uh, didn't even have to go to a club this time. Just curious now. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, let me make one out of this too, just for fun. You know, that's a proper... <laughs> that's so goofy. How much did I... I did six. I'll take that. You know, I'll buy your last one. You got good stuff here. And I can always sell more precious gems and terribly inflate the economy some other time. I'll do it in Gerudo Town. Anyways, let's get cooking. Mm, let's do that. And that. And some milk. Give me a nice oiled meat pie. <laughs> you can! <laughs> ah, that's awesome! <laughs> a deep fried drumstick. Yes, while I was out in the woods, I sauteed some peppers. I made a beautiful steamed mushroom wrap, and I, I got me a chicken leg right here. Darn good. Made right here. Sourced locally. That's hilarious. I love that. It's full of out of this world flavor. You see that? Sauteed nuts. What did I tell you? All right, let's make a uh, big old uh, cooling fruit, what you call it. Good stuff. 12 minutes is beautiful. Let's make another just to have it. I have two, and if I ever want to go around without having to wear the armor, it's just good to have the stuff in your back pocket, you know. All right. Feel good. <laughs> Got my funny little whip sword. My hair's done up all cute. I'm all set. Anyhow. All of that in any case. Is a story for another day. This has been actually pretty eventful. We killed a Mulduga, killed a Lionel, made our way through the desert, got a handful of shrines. Uh, what was that? Four, four or so ish. Um, made it to the bazaar, and you know, properly started on one of the major phenomena, the sand shroud, which is super cool. And we got um, lovingly introduced to the Gibdos. But for now, 
I'll thank you once more for watching. If you swung in live, I really do appreciate it. I know, you, you all know who you are. I know who you are. I see you in the chat, and I, I really do. It, it means a lot. If you're watching the VOD, you are a trooper, and I appreciate you. And if you're seeing the highlights, thanks as well. But for now, I will see you some other time. And until then, good night.